Oh my god, it's just outside of town. Nah, it'll be shorter going this way, probably. What the hell am I going to do here? Weird. <laughs> I guess I'll just leave through your metery. Oh, I'm gonna have to swim. I hate swimming. Oh, they even have a little path in, too. I'm actually gonna want to find the standing stone. Nightingale Hall discovered. I'm glad you're here. This is the headquarters of the Nightingales, cut into the mountainside by the first of our kind. We've come to seek the edge we need to defeat Mercer Frey. If you'll follow me, I'll try to explain on the way. This way, please. I guess Brynjolf and Farkas are my followers? Can you shuffle, Aaron? Mac, do you think you could cheat Aaron how to shuffle? Is that a positive? So this is Nightingale Hall. I heard about this place when I joined the guild, but I never believed it existed. The assumption that the Nightingales were just a myth was seeded within the guild on purpose. It helped avert attention from our true nature. What's wrong, Grignoff? I can almost hear you growl furrowing. I'm trying to understand my appearance. This isn't about religion or any other. It's business. Business. I mean, what is in here? We get our own armor? Sick! Activate the armor stone? It's cool, I guess. Whoa. Escape. Oh, I got a nightingale blade. No, it's actually getting pretty intense right now. Nightingale hood. 
I put on all this crap. Where is muffled and moves silently? That is sick. I like those gloves actually. Okay, I equipped it. What the hell? I equipped the whole thing. Nightingale, Nightingale. Is there something I don't have? Nightingale Blade. Okay, I got my This is around. enough to make your head spin, eh? You are here ready to see us. Whoa! She looks so cool. You are here ready for the us. Okay, lass, we've got these get-ups on. Now what? The only stage is the first step in the coming United States. Whoa there, lass. I appreciate the armor, but becoming a nightingale, that was never discussed. To hold any hope of defeating Mercer, we must have Nocturnal at our backs. If she's to accept you as one of her own, an arrangement must be struck. What sort of arrangement? I need to know the terms. The terms are quite simple, Brynjolf. Nocturnal will allow you to become a nightingale and use your abilities for whatever you wish. And in return, both in life and in death, you must serve as a guardian of the Twilight Sepulchre. Aye, there's always a catch. But at this point, I suppose there isn't much to lose. If it means the end of Mercer Frey, you can count me in. What about you? Are you ready to transact the oath with Nocturnal? Hell yeah! After I open the gate, please stand on the Western Circle. Time's wasted, and Mercer's still out there. Let's get this show on the road. Throw! Oh my god, what are we supposed to do? Can he come in with me? Time's wasted, and Mercer's still out there. Let's get that show on the road. That is my favorite part. It's so funny. He's so good at it, too. Call upon you, Lady Nocturnal, Queen of Murk, and Empress of Shadow. Hear my voice. Ah, Carlyle. I was wondering when I'd hear from you again. Lose something, did we? My lady, I've come before you to throw myself upon your mercy, to accept responsibility for my failure. You're already mine, Carlyle. Your terms were struck long ago. What could you possibly offer me now? I have two others that wish to transact the oath. To serve you both in life and in death. You surprise me, Caroline. Kinda looks this like <laughs> Kinda looks like Farkas is doing this. My appetite for Mercer's demise so the seeds of my craving for wealth and grace. Revenge. How interesting. Very well. The conditions are acceptable. You may proceed. Lady Nocturne, we accept your terms. We dedicate ourselves to you as both your avengers and your sentinels. We will honor our agreement in this night and the next until the conditions have been met. Very well. I name your initiates Nightingale. And I restore your status to the same, Carlyle. And in the future, 
I'd suggest you refrain from disappointing me again. How did we disappoint her? Now that you've transacted the oath, it's time to reveal the final piece of the puzzle to you. Mercer's true crime. Mercer was able to unlock the guild vault without two keys because of what he stole from the Twilight Sepulchre. I knew it was a skeleton, a skeleton key. key. By doing this, he's compromised our ties to Nocturnal, and in essence, caused our luck to run dry. Well, yes, but the key isn't only restricted to physical barriers. All Doesn't say my stats. Untapped abilities, the potential all, to please. wield great power securely sealed within our minds. Once you realize the key can access these traits, potential becomes limitless. Although it would benefit the guild more than you can imagine, in the end it would do more harm than good. If the key isn't returned to its lock in the Twilight Sepulchre... I really want this, the skeleton key. As time passed, our luck would diminish to the point of non-existence. And whether you know it or not, our uncanny luck defines our trade. Very true. In our line of work, it's quite rare we set out to return a stolen item to its rightful owner. Before we depart, Brynjolf has some business to discuss. I suggest you listen to him. Listen, lad. There's one last piece of business we need to settle before we go after Mercer. The leadership of the guild. Carlia and I had a long discussion before you arrived here. Thanks to your efforts, Mercer's treachery has been exposed. After we deal with them, all that remains is restoring the guild to its full strength. As a result, we both feel that you have the potential of replacing Mercer as leader Aaron, of the I'm the leader guild. of yet another guild. I've been at this game a long time, my friend. A long time. I've stolen trinkets from nobles yes. and framed priests for murder. I'm good at what I do, maybe even one of the best. But it's all I know. I've never been one to lead. Never desired it, never cared for it. Don't want it. Well, we have a bit of an errand to run before your coronation, so don't get sentimental on me now. Then it's decided. When this is all over and Delvin's contacts assure me that we've regained our footing in Skyrim, we'll handle the details. Yes, I get coronated. Until then. Everything. We have a sweet task ceremony. Ahead. I've been pouring over the plans you brought us, and I'm convinced the eyes of the Falma are in the Dwarven ruins at Urkenthat. Carlia and I will meet you there. Prepare yourself, lad. This will be a fight to remember. To remember. He's got those swords. If you would have asked me that yesterday, I'd have said no. But now I think our chances have improved. Look. Call me crazy if you like, but I trust Carlia. I don't think she'd lead us down a suicidal path. Besides, I'd rather die with some of Mercer's blood on my blade than spend the rest of my life regretting that I ran the other way. That's a good one. That's a good one. Hmm. One sec, one sec. Okay. Uh. Okay, here we go. 